Hello friends, in this video we will see bulk upload Excel functionality in MVC3 Razor and we are walking through the scenarios of this application and the points mentioned under the description are the scenarios which the Excel file come, come across and after completing all the scenarios the Excel file data is updated to the database and these are the points that is downloading the Excel file then the data is entered into the downloaded Excel file then the Excel file is uploaded and once the, once the Excel file is uploaded it is validated for the data entered and once the Excel file validation is valid then the Excel file is read for its data and the data is read from the Excel file and it is updated in the database now if we look into the database just for this application we have created two tables that is upload Excel which keep track which keeps track of the Excel file which is uploaded and it has columns like file name, file bytes, uh, uploaded date is processed, processing status is basically if it is validation is true it, it comes out to be a uh, pass otherwise it's a failure and if it fails and failure reason is provided and the second table is user details and this is basically related to the data which is going to be entered into the Excel file. If Excel file validation comes out to be true, then the data present in the Excel file is put into this user details table. Now let's three let's see through the application or UI. Now this is the basic UI of the application. Now if you read the message, it says click on the Excel image to download the Excel file. Now when you click on the image, the Excel file present in the application is downloaded. So now the Excel file is downloaded with us. So we go to the excel file we open the excel file now this is the excel file the data is already entered into it so now if you compare the excel file and the database the user detail data user details table has the same name columns compared to the excel file so that itself says the excel data is going to be inside the database table now say I give last name as well now my one row is completed for the bulk import now I can upload this excel so what I will do I will go to my UI again I will choose my file and I submit the file Now my process is done. Now if I go to the database and check the details, I execute both the query. Now you can see there's one data in the first table that is upload Excel table and it says the Excel file is processed and it is successfully processed. And you can see the data as well. There's data in the user details table. So now suppose there's a scenario in which we don't put any data in the Excel file. So say suppose if I go to this Excel and I clean the data, so there is no data present in the Excel file. So, or we can test one more scenario that is, if we delete some of the, if we delete some of the fields and close this Excel and upload it again. So we choose the file, we upload the Excel file again, and I say submit. So it got submit. Now if I check the query, now this is our second record. So it says it's a failure and it, it is clearly mentioning the reason that is last name and password is missing. So this is the one scenario, two scenarios we have seen. So let me delete the data, Excel data so that we could easily make it out. So now the third scenario is to completely remove the record so I completely delete the record and I'll upload the excel file now if I go to database and check so there is no record and it gives the error that is empty excel no row present in excel so this is the basically this is basically the validation part at the excel level which validates 
the data present in the Excel file. Now there's one more type of validation which checks or which only allows Excel files to be uploaded. Now suppose instead of Excel file you, you choose some Word document and try to submit it. So it gives us the error upload Excel file only and the one downloaded from above. So it basically says uh, only Excel is type of uh, documents are allowed and all that to the one which is downloaded from above it also checks the name of the excel file if the name of the excel file is different from the one which is downloaded then it also throws the error so these are the scenarios and validations which are implemented in bulk upload and this bulk upload mm -hmm. helps in inserting the data in the database in bulk which facilitates the application so we will be we will be walking through the code in our next video and i hope you like this video thank you friends